Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flamo. We back with another video. Um Yeah, as as you can see by the title, it's another pretty boy fatal video, but this video is actually different. And what I mean by it's different is I'm basically just gonna break down all the drama and all the, the all about the situation and just breaking down and what I think about it in my personal opinion and how do I feel about all these members, SSH, how I feel about Fredo, and I'm going to just give you the honest truth of my opinion, and I'm just going on based on what I know and what I see. So those are the two main things. Oh, and what I hear, three things actually. So those are the three main things I'm going based on, and yeah, say but before we get straight into it, guys, I really appreciate all the love and the support. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, man. Y'all going crazy. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, man. It really means a lot. And this is these past couple of days, I couldn't even stop smiling. I've just been, I've been really happy spiritually and mentally. And it's just like, I just want to continue feeling like that. And for you guys that just subscribed that are new, I hope you can continue with this journey with me. No matter what content I post, I just hope you subscribe because you want to mess with me for me, for who I am. Okay, now with that being said to the side, I really appreciate you guys really so much. God bless y'all for real. But anyways, diving back into the situation. So honestly, with the whole situation with Fredo, this is what I see, guys. Everybody's wrong. Let's start off with Cam. Cam, first of all, you're wrong in your situation. I don't know how much of the blame you're going to get, but you're wrong in the situation. Why? Because if you realize the first generation SSH members is not part of a Fredo, then you should come to a realization that, hey, like I said, maybe you got to keep your guard up because you never know. And it turns out that Fredo's videos is fake. So it's like you can't be really upset on like what happened because if you look at his video, his videos are too good to be true. All these videos he does involves a lot of money. And you need to have at least like Mr. B status to do these certain type of content videos. So, Cam, I just feel like you was wrong in that. I feel like you should have put your trust in something else more reliable. And you honestly, you kind of let, in a way, Fred to walk all over you. So that was honestly your part. And I'll say another thing, too. What I'm hearing and what I see, I felt like you was lying about Fred going through your phone. I don't know about that. I don't know. But, hey, I feel like that if you are lying about that, then that's wrong because if you're going to talk about an exposing video or like expose anybody or talk about their mistakes or drama or whatever, you need to come with the correct facts, you need to come with the proof, and you got to have receipts to back up your argument. So I just feel like you're wrong in that aspect. Now, Itolo, Priya Boyfredo's editor, I feel like you're wrong as well because you are an editor, right? If somebody pays you for a certain amount of work and they want it by a certain amount of day, you have to get it by that due day. There's no late when it comes to this real world stuff. It's if you're late, you get off the hook, you're loose, you're fired, you're done, okay? Now, Itolo, what I feel like you should have done is Fredo showed the screenshots of him trying to check in, hey, how's the work, how's the work, this and that. You're wrong for that. Whenever somebody wants to check in for their work that they pay for, you should always, always, and immediately, as soon as possible, always try to get in contact with them and show them how the work and the progress is going. Or at least just keep them updated or just keep in contact with them and not just saying like, oh, I'm busy, I'm always on the call, this and that. You're wrong for that. And then I think I feel like you're wrong for it too, Itolo, is I looked at the screenshots that Pretty Boy just showed in a recent video and it seems like that you was just lying about like, oh, I can't do this. Like you was making excuses and not hopping a phone call and then you were saying on the day that Fredo was asking for it, that I think like your friend or whoever had COVID. So it just seemed like you're making excuses and in a business aspect like that, if you keep making excuses, you're not gonna go far in the business world. So that's how I feel like you're wrong in that part. And yeah, another person too. Another person I will say is wrong is probably Fredo. Fredo is probably the most wrong here. And here's why guys. Fredo, if you're going to fake your videos, if you're going to fake your videos, at least say somewhere in the video that my videos are 100% fake and this is all just for content purposes and entertainment. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you do that. 
You're not going to get any backlash, no hate, or anything. Because people's going to be like, yeah, we understand his videos are fake, but they're still good to watch. But at least he's being honest and not trying to hide. Now, when you don't, when you say you don't fake your videos, and then you lie about it, saying it's real, even though it's not, then you're going to get a lot of criticism. You're going to get a lot of hate. Because you're not being true to yourself. And you're wrong in that part. Another thing I feel like um, you're wrong too, Fredo, is... How are you living in a penthouse but have no furniture? Like, and then you want to talk about, oh, I haven't gone furniture, this and that. Do I feel like you're broke? No. But I feel like that you're just not being honest of yourself. And I just feel like you want to box DDG and you want to do all this stuff because you, you, you it's honestly a little like it's for clout. Honestly. Like, so it's just, you know, it's just that stuff. And another thing too, Fredo, is you can't be doing this to these people. You can't be putting these people hopes up and just expect them to always be on your side and when they switch up you want to act like you're the victim and Fredo with all these dramas and all these rumors and all this stuff that's been spent been going around spreading about you you're wrong dude you're wrong and the fact I look at all these videos and it looks like you're trying to victimize yourself some things you are saying is true but you always seem to put the blame on somebody else and that's where you're wrong as well sometimes you have to own up to your mistakes whether you like it or not that's part of life that's part of living if that's not part of life why are you on this earth why are you on this planet why are you on this soil why are you on this ground Fredo you're going to have to clean up your act, dude. Like, you're pushing 40 years old. You're going to have to clean up your act because if you don't, you're just going to keep on getting criticism and hate for the rest of your life. And who knows where that's going to take you, all right? So, overall, guys, what do I think? I think everybody is wrong in their own aspect. Nobody is right here. Some people may have done more wrong things than others in this whole situation. But in the end, everybody is wrong. Everybody's a suspect, not a victim. And that's just how I see it. So hopefully this situation can die down. Everything can go back to normal. We can move on and just let it be. Just be a man of your mistakes and whatever. Move on. All right. So, yeah, that's that's honestly what I think, guys. And I just feel like that if this drama keeps continuing, I feel like nobody's going to come out right. Honestly, the, the more the drama, this drama keeps going and going, it's just like, dude, like. We're not even surprised no more. We already seen this coming, so. All right, everybody. So now, um, I thought that was the end. But look, this video is going to be a little bit longer than I expected because I guess Fredo uploaded a four-minute clip that his editor is a scammer. So we need to check this out. Let's check this out, man. She is not photoshopped, okay? Because I guess, I take back what I said. I guess now, Itola probably has more drama on his name. Let me see this. Hold this on. This is not Photoshop. This is the actual text message that this motherfucker sent me, bro. I can't make this up, bro. I wish I could. This nigga sends me a picture of a fucking a fried computer. This part is very interesting. So basically, um, I was supposed to see my reality show for the first time. The, the nigga just never deliver. If you watch the video, you'll find that out, right? But it was something interesting about this part. He sent me, on this day that I was supposed to see my reality show for the first time, he sent me this, uh, this picture of this fucking melted computer. And you know, I took it word for what it is, you know, I believed it, you know, whatever. Somebody on Instagram, not even two minutes later after I posted the video, bro, you know, cause I don't, I don't do my investigating this shit, bro. I, like I really don't. The first fucking picture? The first fucking yo, picture? Yo! Yo! Do you know what this means, guys? He told us a scammer? No fucking way. No way. No way. No way. This is the first picture on fucking Google, bro. This nigga literally sent me the first picture on fucking Google and said that his- Oh, God. So does this mean that Fredo has the right to not pay him? Bro. This got even worse than what it is. All right, guys. The tables have turned, man. Wow. Wow. Wow, man. Um, 
All I'm going to say, this is how I see it, guys. And we're about to end the video right now. This is how I see it. The only type of compensation that Itola probably should get is the um, is the second channel. But with the edit, bro, there's no way. There's no freaking way, bro. Yo. I don't think if this is correct, if this is what we're seeing right now, I don't think Itolo should get paid. I'm being real, guys. Like, bro. So I was right. Fredo and Itolo scammed each other. Bro, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts, guys. This is absolutely nuts. I am speechless. I don't even know what to say. Bro, this situation is just getting bad. This is getting bad, man. Itolo's getting canceled. Fredo's getting canceled. Bro, this is just getting insane, guys. So, it looks like he's probably going to drop another video soon. So, we on that. So, but this is just insane, man. But yeah, guys, I just want to say, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really appreciate everybody that's tuning in once again. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I hope you can rock with me for me. And with that being said, I will be uploading a new video soon. So make sure you got post notifications on when I drop a new video. So in the meantime, I got to get going. I love you guys. I love you so much. And I'll see you later.